There are two key differences between animating an item in Biteable and the pre-existing animations offered. There are pre-existing animations where you can control some aspects of the animation, such as the colors, and there are items that can be animated, albeit in a different way. For pre-existing animations that come with Biteable, such as these, you can change properties like the different colors, but you can't change the actual animation. For example, you aren't able to change the order of how these characters bounce, or the words in big news. What you can change though is the color by selecting their pre-existing animation item and then looking at the properties in the toolbar. You can also change how the animations come into and go out of a scene by clicking on the item. For assets that you upload like logos, you can't animate the logo across your scene or have your logo morph into something else but you can set the animation for how the item comes into and leaves a scene if desired. You have the same options including fade in, scale up, elegant rise, and rotate bounce. Images that are placed as background elements can be animated. You have several options to choose from including zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right, pan up, and pan down. 